Hey, my friends, I'm sitting in the airport and I'm answering a lot of blasphemy against the Holy Spirit questions. So I thought I'd come on here and say that when we're reading the Bible, I know a lot of people say read in context. You know what context truly is? Genesis through the book of Revelation. It is so important to understand how our God fits everything together. So we can't look at one verse, cherry pick it and say, I know what blasphemy against the Holy Spirit is. My friends, blasphemy against the Holy Spirit is rejecting God completely, totally, and irrevocably out of your life. That is the only way the Pharisees could have said what they did about Jesus in the book of Matthew. So my friends, if you love Jesus, if you have acknowledged him as your Lord and Savior, you have not and will not ever be able to commit blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. My friends, the only unforgivable sin is leaving this earth without accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior. So have you done that? Then my friends, go build that relationship with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords because he loves you and he is looking forward to seeing you in heaven with him. So my friends, I love you and God's got this.